Pascal Modeling. And welcome to part three of our 1700 Tamiya Waterline Yamato build. So if you haven't uh, already, um, go back to the beginning and you can see the playlist and it will show you the unboxing and review I did of this kit. And you could also go back and watch the first two um, parts of this build if you haven't already. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already and hit that thumbs up if you like the video. And your comments are welcome, of course. So let's see what we've got to do. So in the last video, we um, I managed to paint the side of the deck of the ship here, which I'm now masking up because we now need to do the deck areas themselves. Um, we also uh, clear coated the turrets after they were painted and we've clear coated uh, some more of the guns. There was some uh, triple machine guns that needed to be done. So we put those together, painted them up and uh, like in everything in this build so far, everything's done with a black primer which is uh, Mr. Surface, Mr. Finishing Surface 1500. Then we put our color over the top and then clear coat and then weathering. So we haven't weathered the turret yet. We'll be doing that in this video as well as those guns that we did. Um, and then putting them aside. And then of course the actual superstructure itself with the bridge and the smokestack uh, That'll be, we'll do some weathering on that as well with some panel line wash and uh, whatever else we need to do to get that looking good as well. And then that will go aside and and right now um, we're going to work on this deck. And as you can see, there's a lot of it is wood deck that needs to be painted, which will be done in the XF57, which is what's recommended in the instructions. Then there's metal plate on the stern and bow of the ship that needs to be done in, uh, where is that one? There it is, uh, metallic grey XF56. So we'll do that. So I'm masking off this at the moment. And then what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a... Um, I was going to do a primer, but I'll do it with a grey primer because I, th I thought if I did this with the black over the top, that would darken our wooden deck. I'm not sure how much, and I don't really want to darken this. I don't want the black coming through underneath. So I'll prime it all in the grey, Mr. Servicer. And then when that's dried, we'll come back and we'll mask off the areas that we need to have for the deck, I'm guessing would be the best thing to paint first. And then when that's dry, we take that off and we'll do the, the metallic gray where that's got to go. And a lot of this stuff here, like the tops of the turrets will all be under the turret. So that's not a problem, but the outside around the areas here will have to be gray. Um, so they'll all need to be touch up. Most of the little bits and pieces you see around on the deck, I'm going to touch up with brush. I'm going to brush paint most of that. The chain, not too sure what I'm going to do with that. It's really, it's molded on chain. You can hardly see anything. And I don't want to, I can't take it off because that would damage the checker plate underneath. So what I might do is, I'll see if I've got some, you know, scaled chain. And I might be able to just lay it over the top, and uh, and that'll be good enough. Otherwise, yeah, we'll see what how it goes through throughout. All right, so I'm going to get on to masking here, and and getting this top clear uh, primed. Okay, let's get going.
Okay, welcome back. So, um, I've painted that uh, deck area, which is the same colour as the rest of the, the hull of the ship, and that's outside drying now. After that, we'll do the metal on the stern and the bow of the ship. But I need to wait for all that to dry. Then I have to remask a bit more. So, in the meantime, I thought, well, we should start on the ship's um, boats. Now, there's a lot of boats in here that aren't on the instructions. So, we've got on the instructions, they actually tell us to use these two open sort of row boats and they show the position they are on the deck. Um, but I've noticed there's also a couple of captain type launches there and there's also some of those boats which have uh, an extra two boats there which we only need two as far as I can tell on the instructions um, and then there's another one two boats here that have the covers over them so yeah and then there's another little launch boat down here as well so overall we have one two three four five six seven eight nine boats but there's only two on the instructions that we are going to use and that are shown up to use although i'm just having a look and it does say that one of these other boats the larger ones um, used as storage base for boats so it goes in the side of the hull you know where we put that piece on the side and there's that hole in there that's where the other boats go but you can't see them <clears throat> so i'm not going to worry about those um, but we will be doing the ones where you can see the, the seat, the panelling, and they're just two of these ones here. I think that would be the best way, yeah. And we'll put them on. Um, we also need to do the float planes as well. And the instructions just showing to do two of them. Um, there's an option of having when launching or when standing by. There's also a catapult and the turntable to be um, set up. Uh, but that's a little bit further ahead. I think I'll just have uh, the aircraft maybe standing by. I'm not sure, we'll see. But these are tiny and they gotta be painted the aircraft themselves in here um, are completely built. You don't have to put them together. All we do have to do is put, it looks like, just put the floats on the bottom of the aircraft. The wings and fuselage and tail and everything is already on these. And, and that's it. And maybe a canopy? No, there's an upper wing, I see. They're like a biplane, so... There's an upper wing, I think. Well, that's on one of the aircraft. The other one's different. It doesn't. All right. So, yeah, a little bit tricky to paint, but we'll get that done. And I'm just trying to see. They don't seem to have propellers, which is unusual. I'm uh, just looking through the instructions. No. Anyway, uh, I'll get all the parts off I need, off the sprue, tidy it up, and uh, we'll make a start on them. And every now and then I'll come back in uh, when that deck's dry and we'll tape that up and get the other part painted and put it back out to dry. All right, so we'll go back into the time lapse and uh, thanks for sticking through this long <laughs> and uh, we'll continue on. Okay, let's go.
Okay, welcome back everyone. So, so I'll just come in here and we'll have a look. We've finished the um, silver part of the deck. And that was all sprayed in uh, metallic grey XF56. And it's all dry now. So we need to take some uh, masking tape off. And fingers crossed everything's going to be looking good. Fingers so dust getting around biggest problem I have here is dust okay so far so good Good. Um, I just wanted to also mention the reason why I um, um, clear coat um, at each section, I do a clear coat over the top, is it offers that extra bit of protection, layer of protection of masking tape, um, not peeling off paint. You know, I always dread that it's going to take off the paint underneath, but I find that if you clear coat and then mask, um, there's less chance of that happening. And as you can see here, there's definitely no paint coming off. Uh, another thing you can do is and you might notice me doing it in the videos is I run out a strip of masking tape and then I'll um, run it on here and then peel it off. It just takes a bit of the tackiness, the stickiness off it. Um, that's okay, although you want to make sure you're doing it on a clear area because you could pick up debris that's on your mat and that could uh, affect the tape not sticking properly um, same as when you do it on your hands a lot of people peel it put it on their hand and back of their hand and back off but there's a lot of oil on your skin as well that could also be a reason why you can get paint not sticking uh, paint getting under the masking tape because it's not stuck down properly but so far this is looking fine Okay, let me just turn that around. I'll actually take the tape off the side of the hull as well because there's nothing else to paint on here with the airbrush. Um, what I will be doing is hand painting with the brush uh, all the bits and pieces along the top here. And I will probably be masking up a little bit too just to protect some of the spots. Um, particularly around the deck. Okay, so that's come off well. It's good. That's going to come off there. All right, now get this one. See how this goes. This should be all right. It's been on for a while, but like I say, putting the uh, clear base clear coat over the office, that extra layer of protection, so less chance of uh, taking paint off. All looking pretty good right now. Yep. Yeah, 
there, see? I mean, that's stuck down really tight. But because there's a clear coat over that base coat, you don't have to worry about it. Look at that. Right, let's get all this out of the way. All right, there she is. Pretty happy with that. It's come up really good. So now what I'll be doing is probably putting the bottom on here. There's no reason why this can't be attached now. Um, I did paint that, even though it's a very thin strip of red, I did paint it hull red, well, my own version of a red. And uh, so that's that could probably go on now. And uh, then it's just a matter of um, painting up all the little bits on here that need to be done, which is all um, the grey. Uh, what colours will that be? That'll be 75, the ship grey. And, uh, and then putting all our pieces on. So, yeah, keeps the progress. All right. So I also have the aircraft here, which are primed in Mr. Surface of black and they've dried now so they're ready to paint the green for them so that's what i will do now so they can go and dry um, this section here um, i painted up so that'll go on there so that'll be fine good um yeah we're, we're pretty much all starting to start, it's going to start looking like a, a ship <laughs> from here on. All right, so I'll go back into the uh, time lapse and I'll attach this, which is going to be quite simple. No reason why that needs to be off there anymore. And um, yeah, we'll get that done and um, start looking at uh, what we've got to do on here. Okay, here we go. Hello, welcome back. So, uh, the bottom is glued on. And uh, it's come up really good. And um, what I'm doing now is I've got this um, Tamiya uh, masking sticker sheet here, which I've never used one of these before. And the idea will be to, because I've got quite a lot of small bits and pieces that need to be painted on here. Uh, I need to mask off around just in case I go too far with the brush and touch the deck or something. So I've cut these off and these are all in one millimeter grid, grid size. So the idea will be just, I've got a brand new blade on my knife and cut that out and then I'll slice these down and I'll mask off the areas that I'm going to need to paint. So like the breakwater wall there will be need to be done. Uh, the grey, a lot of it will be grey. Um, these are reels that need to be done. The instructions are saying a green yellow, which I just happen to have, except for uh, yellow green, which is what they want me to use. So strange color but that's the color for those hose reels i think they are um, so there's a few there and there's a few here on the back on this inner part of the deck um, some of these like the tops of the turrets i won't have to paint because obviously the turret will sit on top of that and uh, some of the areas around uh, that will be hidden will be fine so um i'm um, want to i will do round the edge of that as gray but i don't know if i will do that one depends on how visible that little edge will be to do that gray because that's going to be really really hard to do because it's it's only like a millimeter high so yeah that could be tricky to mask and get paint to stay where i want it to now everything is also clear coated um, and I've let it dry overnight 
So, um, and it's come up really, really good. All right, so um, I'm going to start masking off all of this. Um, also, to take a break from this, I'll probably do these aircraft, which are also painted and clear coated, and I can um, put some decals on those. Now, there's also this part of the launch thing that goes on the back here. And for some reason, I've forgotten to paint that, so I need to get some paint on that. And also, um, there's some decals to go on here as well. So, yeah, a little bit to do. So, um, let's uh, get into it back shortly.
Okay, welcome back. So, as you can tell, we've done quite a lot. Um, there's our two little aircraft. Managed to put the decals on them. They're done. I'm just going to let those decals dry. Shouldn't take too long. Um, everything's painted up on the deck that I needed to paint. So that's all good. All the little hose reels. Um, every other little piece or little boxes are done. Um, there's the decals being put on there. And uh, which are part of the tracks, I think, for the, or part of the cattle pult. Not too sure. Um, that's going to go on there yet, which will go like that. No problem. And uh, yeah, so uh, it's we're pretty much at the stage now where all there is to do is put everything on there. We've got to put our guns on there, turrets on there. And of course, the superstructure and bridge to be placed on there, and then do a bit of uh, a bit more weathering around the deck once all those are on, which will all be in the next video. And the next video will be the last video, will be the final video, and uh, we'll have it all done by then. So uh, the next one will also I won't have anything in um, time lapse because there's not much really to do. So we'll go through the whole process of putting everything on here and uh, and finishing this off. Now, um, I also off camera um, found a piece of wood and I've uh, stained it. And that's gonna be our base for our ship to sit on like that. Uh, so that should look all right and look nice under an acrylic case, which I'll try and organize. But uh, yeah, so thank you for watching, guys. Um, part four will be the final one, the next one. Um, please, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up and your comments are welcome below. And I'll see you all in the last video. Okay, bye for now. Cheers.